Have you ever gotten mad at Google Maps for underestimating how long a road trip would take, or telling you to turn left when it was really more of a light merge? How about for nearly landing you to an agonizing death in the desert? Or nudging nations ever so slightly closer to nuclear war? People, companies, and even governments have blindly followed Google Maps to such disastrous destinations. FactFeed presents, five times Google Maps straight up ruined people's lives. Number five, an error got the wrong house demolished. You remember planning to have your house demolished? It takes scheduling and meeting contractors and signing documents and a whole lot of red tape. It is not an impulse decision to say the least, which is why a Texan woman was a tad surprised to find that she had apparently okayed a crew to tear down her home. Number four, a woman almost died in the desert because Google made up a road. Picture, if you will, a woman driving to the Grand Canyon. Hard to miss, no? But that wasn't the case for one Amber Van Heck who, relying on Google Maps, went to see the iconic landmark. In 2017, 24-year-old Van Heck had embarked on a solo road trip to the Grand Canyon. In the middle of the Arizona desert, she noticed that she only had 70 miles worth of gas left in the tank. Not an issue, as her Google Maps reassured her that she was only 35 miles away from a highway. Trusting Google, she obediently followed the app to bring her safely to civilization. Instead, Google told her to turn onto a completely non-existent road, which led her to a non-existent spot on the map. And then she ran out of gas. Finally, after five days, with her supplies dwindling and cartoon buzzards probably circling overhead, she finally decided to hike 11 miles through the desert to get faint cell reception, then squeezed out a 40-second 911 call. Number 3. A hacked Google Maps destroyed several businesses. Knowing that most people never look past the first hit on Google, many small business owners rely on Google Maps to give customers information about their shops. But in 2010, several Buffalo-based jewelry stores noticed that their businesses were drying up out of nowhere. Why? Because someone had told Google to shut them down. The jewelers found out that their Google Maps info was telling customers that they were permanently closed, which killed off everything but foot traffic coming to the stores. Number two, Google takes sides on contested borders and increases geopolitical tensions. We've all had that moment when we got raging mad at Google Maps for taking us to the wrong side of the street from where we know the McDonald's ought to be. But did you know that countries have the same exact problem? Only their notions of which side should have what can quickly involve border war and missiles? We've talked before about that time Nicaragua accidentally invaded Costa Rica thanks to a Google Maps error, but it turns out that this sort of thing isn't even a rare mishap for Google. It's par for the course. If your government doesn't realize a certain other government or border dispute, you don't get to see that. In an attempt to stay out of politics, Google Maps agrees with whatever country your IP address is showing. Number one. Maps sends tourists visiting landmarks to the middle of nowhere. Looking for Mount Rushmore? If you use Google Maps to get there, then you may wind up at the random snowy hill 13 miles away from the presidential bobbleheads. It has happened so often that they even had to put up a sign. Looking to gaze at the beautiful vista of the Prekestolen cliff in Norway? Google Maps might send you to a tiny, unrelated fjord town called Fosmork instead. Fortunately, it's only 19 miles away, and the town has totally grown thanks to the redirecting jilted by Google tourists to the actual landmark. But at least those misdirections still give you a bit of the majesty of nature to look at.